Hello everybody, not Sporbat here. Welcome to Minecraft. Now we are, uh, and also welcome to my world and my storage room here. And there will be possibly a slight reference in here to the create mod, just because I have it installed with the sophisticated storage mod. But we're gonna talk about the sophisticated, sophisticated storage mod today is what we're gonna talk about. I also have sophisticated backpacks, but we'll go over that maybe later. So I went, when I first got this mod, and I've only had this for ah, maybe a few months here now, and I've been using it quite quite a bit. And our uh, sophisticated storage mod, I guess I'll just call it storage and sophisticated, sounds pretty tough for me to say today. <laughs> Anyways, I really like this mod. It knocks down our storage like awesome like look at the look at this this is like a lot of items in the game here a lot and there's a lot of different things you could do with it so we'll go over basically everything today and i'm going to start right from scratch almost basically i have some ingredients here for some crafting recipes but these are more for upgrades and etc and how we start so basically you have to take a minecraft chest plain old minecraft chest like this and then some redstone torches and if you don't know how to craft a redstone torch uh redstone torch is a stick and a piece of redstone is all it is and you could even craft it in here if you wanted you just grab a stick and Hold on. What can we get rid of? Oh, we don't need our wrench. And redstone dust. And all you do is put your sticks in here. Redstone dust here, and there's your redstone torch. I won't craft any because I have enough <laughs> made already. So, All right. Okay, so that's how you make a redstone torch. So all you do is you take... Um, hang on, let me get rid of this. You take your chest here, your Minecraft chests. Take your redstone torches and put them in a crafting table like this. And it is shapeless, so you can put it anywhere you want, like this. And you will get, um, since I have some other mods installed, maybe it's maybe it's a sophisticated storage, but I have an oak chest here. I used oak planks, so I will get an oak chest. And then you just craft them up like this, and you can place them down. I won't place them. I have one right here. So this is the basics of just a plain chest. You have one slot here for an upgrade, which we'll talk about later. We have some other buttons over here. We have, you can sort the inventory. So if you put, I don't know, some chests just in random spots, right? You can sort by name, by how many of them there is, and then also by tags. But if you just hit this sort button, it will sort them all into this slot. But also remember when you're doing that, if you have anything to do with this, which I'll talk about in a second, the memory selected that the chest remembers where stuff is, uh, it will not uh, sort it for you. You have to have the memory off, I believe, from what I noticed. So, okay. So here's our basic chest. Like this. And we have some settings over here now. So over here you have storage settings. And I don't really mess with this. So I don't know how, what this means. I've never had to use this. But it's probably to make it... Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. But it looks like it's... This is player level settings applies to all backpacks slash storages unless overridden. Or... Okay, yeah, if you had different settings, I guess, inside this, you could keep it for uh, a multi-block piece that it's connected to or something. I don't know how that all works, but this I know how it works. So it says shift click into open tab first. So when you shift click stuff from your inventory, it'll try to put it in an open tab and then only after into the inventory and storage. And then there's also shift click into inventory first and then or else the open tab first. So it's a choice there. You have to mess with it. I don't mess with that. I kind of know what it does a little bit, but I don't know exactly how it works. I've never actually seen what it what they meant by it or had to use that. So, and then we have uh, sorting settings here. 
So you can, oh, it's uh, just like it says here, allow selecting slots that are ignored by sorting. Select all means none of the slots. If you have a sorting filter in here, um, won't filter items in those slots, but it will do the uh, unselected ones. And there's select all slots and unselect all and a color too, if you want to choose different colors for the slots, because if you were to select all, you can see here it turns green. Unselect all, it turns off. Or you just single click, left click, and then right click to remove. So if you hit all and you want, didn't want the bottom row, you could hold down right click and just sweep across as well. And then we have memory settings, which is the slots here. Remember what is in them. Why is my inventory empty? Oh, right. That's when you're in the settings tab, it empties this because it's the settings tab. It, and it also only shows you one of everything. Like if you were to put four sticks in here and four chests down here, say, and you go into your settings, you can see it turns into one. So, and since we have our sticks in there, we'll keep them there. So then we also have, so we have memory settings so that whenever there's sticks, you can, it turns different like this. It gets translucent or whatever, like you can see through a bit. This is unselected and this is selected. So if we selected these two slots in memory, the whole chest actually, but it, I think it only remembers when stuff is there. If I was to put extra items in here, it would not be selected till I came back in here. Or just, or like open this and hit select all slots. Or open this and just, you can left click and right click for individuals as well. Or this is all, the whole entire chest. So you right click to unselect it, left click to select it. So if we select these chests and it says memory so that it, this chest knows that these chests go here and that knows that these sticks go in the first slot. So if we were to come back here, grab these sticks out like this, you can see there's still a little picture. This chest is empty, there's nothing in here, but the little picture of the chest and the stick are here. So if we shift click this sticks in, of course it's gonna go to the first slot normally, but that's where it goes. But the chests here, you can see are way down in the bottom here, and it will put them there up to a full stack. And then if it has no more slots that have uh, chests in them, it will automatically then just go to the next available upper slot, I believe. So, and you can, it works just like that. So that's a little bit of that part. And then we have the last one, which is item display. And you can pick, depending on what kind of storage it is, if it's a barrel or if it's a chest. Chests, I believe, only can display one item. So say we want to want this chest here to show us what's in it basically, or you want to display some item, you can see it all over my storage here, you're all over the place, and that's what this does. So now you can see we have the display of the chest on the outside, or we want the sticks. So you just unselect the chest and select the stick, and we know there are sticks in this chest now. And even if it's uh, empty, take the sticks out, it will still display the stick. And I'll explain a little bit about that in a bit, in a little bit as well. Okay, so that's just your basic oak chest. And now we can upgrade our chests to uh, iron, copper, gold, diamond, and netherite, I believe. And I, I just have iron and uh, gold chests. I do not even have a diamond one. I've got a couple diamond barrels, but that's it. I, I don't... Look at the size of this gold chest. <laughs> so each chest size, as you increase, gets bigger. So this one is now a double chest. The iron is the equivalent of a double. And then the gold is... Uh, two and a half... Or three, three regular chests, you can see. And you can see the upgrade tabs get more. Gold has three. Iron has two. And oak has one. Like just a regular plain chest. And the settings will be, all this will be the same for all the chests. Doesn't matter if you have a gold one here, I think. That, not that I know of. Anything different. Everything is still all the same. So that's how those work. And then we have barrels here. Now, some of these barrels, you know how you open a chest like that? If you were to do that over here, you can't do that. You can't open that. This is a limited copper barrel, too. There's limited copper barrel threes and fours and also plain limited copper barrel oh excuse me 
as well. So that we have four types of barrels. And then I believe we have, well, we do, we have regular barrels here. Let me just find one. Uh, where are my regular ones? I might have to go over here. This one, I think. Yes, so this is a plain barrel, and you can open it from the front, and you can put any items you want in here. It's just got a regular inventory. This is the spruce iron barrel. If you were to go with a regular barrel, I believe it is just one barrel size. And same with the barrels. The settings are all the same in here on the side. Same with the sorting settings and all that. Like here, you could see I have this barrel, which is a plain barrel. I think you could select up to four items to display. I have two selected right now, but if I had four items in this barrel, you could display it kind of like this here where there's four. But this is those limited barrels. But this is a regular plain barrel here. And same thing, iron barrel has two upgrade slots. You have to excuse me, I might have to go kill a drowned here. I don't know yet. All right, and then, of course, you can see the rest of my storage here. Just have it kind of sorted out, and you can store things in these. So now we'll talk a little bit about the barrels just real, real quick as we're doing some crafting, because then I can explain to you how these things actually work. Though, so before we get into the... Well, I guess we could talk about the barrels first. Then we'll get into this kind of stuff over here, which took me a little bit to figure out. Like, I think I have most of it figured out, but we'll... Yes, well, then I'll show you a couple examples of how to use these things as well, not just how to, um, what they do. So the barrels here, these are all limited barrels. So any of the limited barrels, you cannot just click on it and open it. So if you have them stacked like this, you're like, oh, I want to open this inventory, right? So you just shift, so you're crouching, and click on it. And as soon as you shift click on the barrel, it opens its little inventory here excuse the word in there that's I don't know why it does I still haven't figured that one out yet same with the the four and here's the one for four the three the two and of course the limited barrel one only has one slot so you can only put one item in it just like this over here so this is how it actually looks here so we shift click and then we can open this and I have two upgrade stacks in here so this is how these things work they upgrade how much amount of items can fit in here so I currently have 16,000 blocks of quartz 16,217 <laughs> and then of course I put two upgrades in here which you could do if you take one out you see the slot, the percentage increase put another one in so you can stack these things in storage and then, of course, if you want an item out of there, like say you want one of these, just left click once and you will get one. If you shift left click, you will get a whole stack. And then if you want to put stuff in the chip in the barrels, just right click and then right click again. But if we have say you have like a lot, right? You got a whole bunch of stacks here. doesn't matter where they are. You can put them anywhere in your inventory, except for this one, of course. Take this. Scroll to what you want to put into the barrel and double click, double right click. And it will empty everything in your inventory into that barrel. And now that's part of the sophisticated storage mod as well, because with the storage controller, we can do the same thing. So, so I'll get into that after, though, once we get in. I'll grab a bunch of items and I'll show you guys. But just um, talk a little bit about upgrades now. So you probably have seen that little filter things that I sh showed you there. So you need to make first, I'll show you what it is here. If you guys do not have this mod here that I have, I think this is JEI, I believe is what it's called. You get it. it. It's almost a must. The amount of recipes in here, like if I go here, I have 37 pages of recipes. So it's kind of... Yes, it really helps. So if we come in here now, we can see the darker brownish, just plain brown color upgrades here. These are all for the sophisticated storage, every single one of these. But to start off, you need an upgrade base, which is the first first thing you need. And it's just five planks and four iron. So let's grab our 10 planks and our eight iron here. We'll open a crafting table. Now this is sophisticated backpacks. I have a crafting table in my backpack. So you could just do this in a regular uh, crafting table as well. So I guess we'll make two of them. And then 
just like that in a crafting recipe and we get upgrade base and you, they stack as well and then that's for making any other of these now you have two different kinds of a lot of upgrades here now we'll start i'll just name them first quickly so we have a pickup upgrade advanced pickup filter same with advanced a magnet upgrade they, they all have advanced by the way and then feeding upgrade compacting void smelting smoking blasting there's a crafting upgrade auto blasting of course stone cutter and then we have stack upgrades tier one tier one plus which would be copper by the color you can see in the corners here uh, tier two is iron tier three is gold tier four is diamond then we have a jukebox upgrade a pump upgrade experience pump upgrade compression upgrade hopper upgrade and then we have some other upgrades here as well so we have a basic tier upgrade and that's one i'd like to show you say you got a bunch your your beginning game you have no redstone nothing like that all you have is plain old minecraft chests uh where are they here <laughs> you guys gotta excuse my cat he's being a yes he's being interesting today <laughs> anyways so where's my minecraft chests here do i have some regular ones i thought i did there they are so all you do Say so you have a bunch of chests over here. Oh. What? Hang on. Sorry. I hope that didn't just end my video. My cat just stepped on my mouse. Oh no, we're still good. <laughs> come on, come sit down. <laughs> what a guy. Okay, settle down. All right, <laughs> so we have some just plain regular Minecraft chests, and now we have went mining and we have acquired some redstone. Now we have some redstone torches, and we have also found some iron with us. Now all we do is you would craft a upgrade base, and then you would craft some of these. And now all it takes to craft these is four sticks and a redstone torch. So we'll grab... Oh, that was the wrong one. Oops, that was the wrong chest. That was for a different one. Okay, so we come into our crafting table, take our four sticks, like this. And what was in the middle again? Oof. Oh, right, redstone torches. And some redstone torches, two of them. And you will get your basic tier upgrade. And what it says here is upgrades vanilla inventories to their sophisticated version. So just as it's exactly the same as crafting them, taking a, a chest and a redstone torch and putting it in there, this would upgrade your regular Minecraft chests if we take these in our inventory here. Basic tier upgrade. And all you do is you walk up to the chest and you just hold this thing in your hand and right click on it. And it will use it, and all of a sudden, you, as you see, our chest turned into a sophisticated storage chest. Now, I don't know about a double chest, what it's going to do here, but we're going to try it. Okay, so it just cuts it in half and turns it into this. There is no double chest version of these, by the way, because here it is here. So the iron chest is a double, right? I mean, that wouldn't make any sense. You'd have to, if it did actually have double chest this would be a triple so you'd have to have this three wide right and then if you had a diamond it would be four because a diamond is two double uh, chests worth of inventory in it now as also in the upgrades here we have uh, basic to copper so and then copper to iron and copper to gold and copper to diamond and copper to netherite so that's um okay so if and all it is is this is the upgrade here all you do is you take some iron ingots and a redstone torch and you will get a basic two copper tier upgrade out of it 
So we have that in our inventory here? I think we do. So we take a redstone torch and we take eight iron ingots like this and we get our basic two iron upgrade. Now we can also do copper as well. Just like this, take eight copper and we'll start with that one first because it seems um, I really use a lot of the copper variants of these chests just because of the, what you get. So our basic chest is just a chest here, right? So we'll go on our crafting table here and now we'll craft up this basic to copper tier upgrade and we'll use it. I don't use copper chests though. I went straight to iron. Copper I use in the barrels. So I think it works on the chests. Okay, yes. Well, I guess I have... Actually, I think that's the first copper chest I've made. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, no, there's one there, I see. Okay, yeah, I have a couple of them. Not very many. I always went to iron. But now, as you can see, the oak copper chest, the upgrade just doubled. Well, it didn't double it. You have two more rows in here. Is what that did. And then an iron chest, which is right here. As you can see, is three more rows gold so that's what the upgrades are all about all these pieces here so you can just if you have some of these like if I had an iron chest here I could do the iron to gold tier upgrade and it's just the same thing here redstone torch and some gold ingots if I wanted to make this into a gold chest that's all I would do is I would grab eight pieces of gold here and one redstone torch in a crafting re recipe here redstone torch in the middle take our eight iron ingots or gold sorry around and we will get a iron to gold tier upgrade and then we would just use it on our iron chest like this all right and now we're going to talk about some filter items here and upgrade items and a few things that I have been using so far and what I know about them. And we'll go outside here. We'll go to another spot. I have two other spots that I can show you what the upgrades actually do. So first one I'm going to talk about here is the hopper upgrade. And this, this uh, kind of relates to the storage. So we'll talk about this one really quickly. And it's just basically what it says. It's a hopper upgrade. It turns a chest into a hopper. And to craft it, two iron ingots, an upgrade base, which I showed you guys how to craft earlier, a hopper, Minecraft hopper, which is um, five iron ingots. Oh, mm. where's the proper recipe here? Hold on. Uh, say what again? Okay, well they must have changed the crafting here. There it is. So five iron ingots and a wooden chest makes a hopper takes six upgrade or six crafting slots so all we would do for this hopper upgrade is grab our hopper three redstone dust and two iron ingots and we would come to our crafting table here throw our hopper in two iron ingots three redstone dust and an upgrade base I believe and there we go, there is our hopper upgrade. And now that's the the first one. And as exactly it's as exactly as it says in the in, in the description here, pulls items from the block on top and or pushes them to the block below. So all we would do is say we want to this is our one chest here. We can take and yes I know I can Ugh. I have a mod that I can pick chests up with so so say we had two chests on top of each other I guess I could have used this barrel you could use this barrel as an example you could you could use these upgrades anywhere barrels chests doesn't not matter there might be some differences using them in the barrels but you'll have to experiment for yourself because otherwise we're going to be here all day so we'll just take our hopper upgrade just the regular one and we'll place it in and slot here now you can see you have little green 
uh, switch here, red and green, turns it on and off. And that goes with anything that you put in there for an upgrade in your tab here. You can turn them on and off. Um, hang on. Maybe not... Not the upgrade tiers, though. That you can't turn on and off. But al almost everything else you can. Alright. So say this chest down here, I guess, the bottom one with our sticks in it, say... I don't know. For some reason, it's hiding or, or whatever. And you can't open it. It's, say it's a... Yeah. I guess... But whatever. I don't know how to explain this. I'll, I'll explain it in a minute better here. But the way the hopper upgrade works is we have our sticks that are supposed to be in this chest, right? Or anything. Is you just come in here. Here's our hopper upgrade. Now we have some settings for it. And there's a few different settings here. You can block items that it doesn't use and we only have two slots and you can also block items uh, going up and going down so this is block items to pull out of above it and block items to push below uh, uh, whichever way this works you have to experiment I don't know how all this works a hundred percent yet I just know how to use it <laughs> and I've never had to use the block or allow that's just if you want to get sophisticated with the storage <laughs> so we'll take our sticks and now that our hopper upgrade is in here we have a chest below that has some space in it we grab our sticks and throw it in here it's going to grab them one at a time and put them in the chest below now that also applies to our storage controller now that's where we're going to show you the next one because since i have it crafted i don't have a regular hopper upgrade crafted i have the advanced hopper upgrade here and same thing i can turn it on and off and this is my storage controller for this room here for all our chests and barrels we have in here that's why it's in the center it only has a reach of I believe 16 blocks I think roughly is the reach of our storage controller so now the way that this is gonna work say we have some of this n nice fancy green corundum here and we're gonna split this stack in two to show you two things so our storage controller you can just walk up to it as long as this storage controller is linked to that chest or barrel, whichever it may be. This is how this works. You just walk up to it, you can right click. The stack you were holding in your hand, any amount up to 64, or however many you, you take 16, if it's eggs, you know, or whatever, it will disappear. And of course, right clicking once will take one stack. Double right click will take all of it, of that item that you were holding and it will throw it into that barrel away over here. And we'll get into the the uh, connecting and all that stuff here in a bit. Because it requires a storage tool. Now I don't have the ingredients to craft it. Not on me. But I will show you it in a minute here. And that's this little thing here. Now if we go... And we go into here and we look for, here's our storage tool. Here's how to craft one, two sticks, and ender pearl. So you will need, a, need to be find some endermen and kill some endermen. And you will need some redstone as well, as well uh, for a redstone torch and an iron ingot. And you get a storage tool. Now there is also a debug tool here, but I do not know... I don't know if you can craft it or if it's in creative or something, but I just know it's here. So I don't know what that's all about either. That's probably maybe creative. I don't know because I can click on it here and it won't show me a recipe. No, you can craft storage tools though. Oh, there, there's a lot of stuff you can craft in the sophisticated storage here. Like you can see, look at all the barrels here. A lot of stuff. And then shulker boxes as well as are included in this mod in the sophisticated storage. But anyways, okay. So our advanced hopper upgrade here, which I have in this chest, has a few more options. It will push down. It has two more slots for stuff. And then you also have durability uh, you can sort by and NBT data as well. Now here's all five spots of the chest six sorry so from behind it it can pull items from 
below it, it's going to push items down. To the to the right, there is a slot here as well, and to the left, and on top, and right in front. So you can, with the advanced one, you can pull items from the side. You can pull items from this vault. You can pull items from up front, up below, on top, all of that. So that's how the advanced hopper works here. And you have, um, I guess, pushing and pulling, whatever it's doing, taking or giving. You have your uh, sorting or blocking or whatever uh, options here. And you would just take, uh, let's go over here to, let me get a piece, an item here, hold on. Let's just grab a chunk of sand for a second here. So if you wanted this thing to leave the sand in whatever it's taking out of, be it another chest above it or beside it or something that you're gonna dump all your inventory into, which is how the reason you would have that, there's there's other reasons that the hopper thing is like that. It's yeah. Okay, so if we want it to come in here, and we don't want sand to be uh, pushed downwards, and we want the sand to stay in this chest like this. Oh, of course it's gone. I put it on. But I don't know how this all works. Maybe it was the other way. <laughs> Maybe I had to put the sand down there, but. It, of course, it's gone now. Our sand is back in our chest over here. <laughs> but that's how you add items to this. And it doesn't even take an item. You just have to have it in your hand. And they click on there. As you can see, I still have 32. Even if I put this in both slots, I still have 32. It's just there as like a placeholder or whatever. So it knows that sand is blocked. If match the container, allowed. So that's that's it. And to get rid of it, you just left click on it and it just disappears. So that's how that works. So then you guys will have to experiment a bit with this because I don't know much about those things. I'm still, yeah, this is supposed to be kind of more basic tutorial here. So then our storage controller. Now the way this thing works is kind of interesting. Now we have to craft ourselves a storage tool. That's like number one thing. As soon as you want to get into this system of storage here, this is like a must. It's almost required to have one of these things. Of course it went into my backpack. I have a, my backpack has a pickup upgrade here and it just ate my wrench. <laughs> okay. So if we take our wrench here, all of a sudden you see all these green lines and boxes around all this stuff. And whenever you're holding a wrench, it will show you where any storage controller is. I don't know how far away you can be from it to see it. But as you can see, we have a little bit of green way over there. Some green that's just upstairs in this next building. And we have some stuff here. Okay. Oh, man cat is just going crazy so we'll come over to this storage controller which is the one for this room now if you're holding this storage tool it's not going to do nothing unless you actually interact with something in your inventory or, or like in your uh, in your storage here so if you shift and then scroll there's a few different options we have with this tool we can unlink stuff from this controller but first, we'll start with linking. So we come up to our storage controller, whichever one we want to use. I have a couple in this room. I have one over in the corner here, which I'll explain in a minute. And you just right click and it says linking to controller. A little blue box shows up around it. Now, these storages I just placed here, I haven't linked any of these at all. These are non-linked. Linked ones have a green box around them like this. As you can see all over the place here. And all these green lines just indicate that it's linked to that controller. As you can see, there's one storage controller up in the corner there, and I'll explain that a little bit, because you can use storage controllers in two different ways. You can use them to add stuff to your inventory here and your storage, and you can use the storage controller to remove stuff as well. 
So all we do is we grab our storage tool here and we would just walk up, say we want to link this chest to that controller. Bam, you just right click on it. It should link up. I think it should. Yes, there's a there's another green line there. You can see just barely there's a green line around it. And then you can see there's another green line here and there's only one here. So we know there's that it's linked. Um, let's do a better regular chest here. So there. And if you want to unlink, say, oh, no, I didn't want to do that chest. I want to not have that chest controlled by this controller. You just shift and right click in the air somewhere not pointing at a chest or whatever. And it changes to unlinking. And then you just regular, don't be crouch. Well, maybe you can crouch and unlink it. But then you just right click and it will unlink it from that controller. And then all of a sudden you want to add a different chest. You would walk back over here. Right click on your controller. Walk back over here, go up to the different chest you want to link, doesn't matter which one, and link it. Now, I don't know if you can have two chests, or one chest to two different controllers. I'm not sure if that works at all or not. I haven't really experimented with that kind of stuff, but that's the basics of linking and unlinking. And then, when we scroll through some more, we have show hide fill levels. Now, that's more for these barrels here. So as you can see, we can see a little bar graph here showing us how much zinc, uh, raw zinc we have, how much zinc nuggets, and then some zinc ingots. And you can see a little graph here right beside each one showing how full it is. And right here, that's this percentage. Now, as you can see, if I don't hold my storage tool, it doesn't show me how much is in here. But as soon as we hold the storage tool, this comes up. So if you want to show and hide fill levels, that's what this is for. You just come over here and right click, and you will see these get brighter. And if you want to hide them again, they get darker, you know they're not shown. So if they get bright like that, so now when we're not holding our storage tool, now we can see how much is in here from just a glance, even from way back here, you know how full it is. All right, so the next one, we crouch again, and we'll show hide upgrades which as you can see, there's a small little picture here of whatever upgrade that is. Same with this one, it has an upgrade in it as well. So you could show or hide them. And I think that's just when you're, you're holding the tool looking at it, I think. Or, are I? oh no, okay, it displays them all the time. That's what it is, yes. So then, if you were to walk around, it would sh they show up in the bottom corner here. So depending on what upgrades you have. Just like, uh, where's our chest here? This one here, of course, you can't see. There's nothing there. But if we want to see what's in there for upgrades, now it shows you all the time. So that's what showing hiding upgrades means. And then showing hiding tiers as well. So, let's see. I don't know how this one works. I've never actually used it. Oh, okay. I see. Okay, so that just looks basic. And then we come up to it and we want to show it. You can see it's darker as compared to the barrel beside. This will work for chests as well. So, okay. So, when we're not holding our storage tool, we can tell this is copper chest. And if you don't like how you have different colors of barrels or chests around, you know, like this here, uh, over here. Of course, I had the iron one here, but I upgraded it. But if you had the iron one and the gold one, right, and the copper chest, they all have a different color. Maybe you don't like that, and you like the look of the basic uh, chest better, then all your chests will look like that, even though this one is a gold chest and this is a regular chest. They still look exactly the same, but our sizes are different. So that's what the showing hiding tiers is all about. And then next we have locks. Now this is a little bit more complicated. This has to do with our storage controller. Now if you want to lock something, okay, so we'll use, um, let's use some kelp here for example. So all you do is you come over here and you don't crouch. You can just do all this regular standing, same thing. Right click again with your storage tool on your chest. And that, uh, actually we have to go 
into this one first thing. Hang on. There we go. So locking and unlocking, we have to describe this one first. So if I want to lock this barrel, say, that it doesn't accept any more items from the controller, you just walk up to it with locking and unlocking and right click. And a real small little lock symbol there shows up. And you right click again and it's gone. And what that does is locks this barrel or chest, sorry. So let's say we lock have this chest locked now. And we have some kelp in our hands. And um, this is going to get complicated here right away. Sophisticated. Sorry. So it disappeared. I'll explain why in a second. It disappeared. But it did not. Did it go in here? Or is this thing not locked? Okay, it's locked. And we have... How many in here? 43 plus all those. Okay, let's see if this works. <laughs> it does disappear, because the, the storage controller, if it's linked to an empty chest... Well, it does go in here. What? Maybe that's for the barrels. I don't know. I've used it on a barrel. I, I don't know exactly 100% how this lock and unlock works. Let's just do that for a second. Let's go over to a barrel. I, I, I like the barrels a lot better than chests. Chests I use for bulk items, like way down here with our stone, uh, granite, all those kind of stuff, like just plain old blocks. But then the barrels and stuff I use if there's more than one item. Like here you can see this is all gold, this is all copper, this is all iron. I love these barrels. I never really used them off the beginning. I used just chests. But once I started using these barrels, it is so handy because you can display all the items in there and each one will only hold four different kinds. The stack sizes are different. Oh, hold on. Can't have that thing in my hand. In here, like this thing holds a lot of items. Like it's only 35% full. So there's a lot of stacks. And some of the upgrades and stuff will tell you the st uh, the amount of, like here, it says right here. It multiplies the number of stacks that can fit in a slot by two. And then if you go up to like barrels and stuff. Uh, how does that work now? Yeah, here we go. Yeah. So a, a diamond barrel is 64 base stack size, of course. Two slots, 64 times the base stack size. So you can hold 64 stacks in one slot, which is like insane. <laughs> That's a lot of stacks of items. Like over here, you, you can tell, you've seen it on my quartz. So you've probably seen a lot of other numbers. Look at this. I have 16,000 quartz in here. And that's an iron barrel. Limited iron barrel one. And of course I have a couple of great slots in here. So we have a lot of quartz in here. So you can store a lot of items in one chest, which is awesome. That's the whole point of this mod, I believe, is to reduce your storage room size. Now, that's, can you imagine how many chests I would have to have for that? You know, look at that. I have 17,000 netherrack right here in one barrel. And this is the only thing it can handle. Or hold, sorry, is netherrack. That's it. That's why I like these things. They're kind of nice for that. Or two or three things, like here. You have crimson fungus, stem, and netherwort block, which kind of all coincides a little bit. Same with here. You know, magma blocks and blaze rods. So, But this, I believe, is just a regular chest, a regular barrel. I haven't switched it to a double yet. This is some of these. I've, I'm still upgrading and playing with the storage here. Oh, oh, I gotta go kill this guy. Hang on. <laughs> Come here. He's got a backpack on, so that's why there's music. There we go. <laughs> did he drop it? I don't think he did. Whoa! Hello! Don't you dare be throwing that stuff at me. There's, oh, is that a goose egg? Oh, see, somebody's got a trident down there. I don't need to go kill him. No, that's okay. I just had to get rid of the music there. He was carrying a sophisticated backpack, which is where some of these came from, was killing things. Oh, I just, uh, did we get the backpack from him? No. All right. <laughs> Pardon me. Let's get back into it here. 
So that's what. So okay, yes, that's right. Locking and unlocking here. Okay, let's gear up a barrel here. We'll go. We'll use our quartz barrel as an example. So we're gonna lock this barrel. So this should work now. Hopefully, I think it's maybe for more for the barrels to locks and unlock. So this barrel is now locked. We've locked it with our tool. So if we come over to our storage controller and try to throw this quartz block in, it should not have gone in there. 16,089. Okay. Let's try this one more time. I forgot to look at the number. So 16,089 in there, and we come up to the controller that is linked to that barrel and throw this in. Why is this not working? Unless I have to lock that thing. No, you can't lock those. I don't understand why that's not working. I had it. it whatever. That's strange. I don't know what the lock and unlock does then. I know it does that, though. It's supposed to not allow stuff into the barrel is what I thought. I'll have to do some research. My apologies. So... The next one we'll talk about, I'm sorry I can't explain that any better, but I thought that's what it did, was lock it so that items were not accepted. And I swear I did it with my Blackstone in my last video, which is weird. Yes, Zorro. <laughs> my cat is just going nuts. <sighs> okay, so counts. So as you can see, our count is displayed here. 17,861 netherrack and it's there all the time even with an empty hand so we take our storage tool and I say we don't want to see those numbers we just right click and it's gone same with another one here you can just do that on any right click and it comes back so that's what showing hiding counts is about and that's it that's all the way around our options of our storage tool now we have a couple other things here I didn't even show you guys how to craft these. I'll show you in a minute. So then we have a storage link. Now what that does is, as you can see here, I have three, four, five barrels and chests connected together in a, a it's called a multi-block is what it's called, I believe. And what that allows you to do is, and yes, I have, We'll see if this works now. Okay, so as you can see, the storage link is linked to the controller. Now, none of these are. There's no, I removed the two, as you saw. I unlinked two there from the controller, and I could unlink this thing if I wanted. But the reason I'm talking about this storage link here is now these five uh, chests and stuff say Cobble Deep Slate here, right? We have a stack of Cobble Deep Slate, and we have... What is this? Some deep slate tiles here? Ah, right, let's grab 12. So we have 88, as you can see in there. Down here, we have 20. Hang on here. Let's do this properly. One, two, three. So we have 31 here. These are all full stacks with an upgrade, of course. Tier 3 stack upgrade gives you the, I think it's 512, maybe. Let's just double check. Yes, it is. So it's tier 3. 512 items per stack is what's allowed as an upgrade. So we took our 64 cobble deep slate, so we have now 31 here. And we took our deep slate tiles, which we have 12 of, and we have 88 in there. And as you saw, none of these are linked. But this storage link is sitting on top of this barrel, and it is connected to all five of these. So if we were to come over here, take our deep slate tiles, and right-click on our controller, then grab our cobble deep slate and right click on the controller i'll explain better how to do multiple items like that it should have here it is now as you can see we now have 100 so it added that stuff we threw in to these chests automatically through this little link here but that link is not connected to this because there is an empty air block here between this barrel and this barrel so this would actually have to be either individually linked like this or group linked whoops whoa with a storage link into the whole 
something. And I have a, a few of these around the room, as you saw. There's one there. Uh, I believe the other ones are on the other side here. Yes, there's a storage link for that block. There's actually a storage link on top of there, which I have all the chests. Yeah, don't ask. <laughs> don't, the link. So the storage link is actually honestly only controlling these two or three. <laughs> three these three here. So I could actually unlink all of these barrels and this controller as long as this storage link is here. I, this is when I was experimenting, so just trying to figure everything out about how all this works and building my storage room. So that's all about that. Now, say we have, we'll come back over here and use this for an example, some cobble deep slate in our inventory. Some other stuff's going to disappear. We have a stack of sand, we have a, st a stack of quartz blocks, and we have um, a bunch of just other random stuff in here, right? And say we have a few of those, and you just right click, or left click, sorry, to grab an item out of any barrel you want, and even if your hand is full, it's still going to grab whatever you're grabbing. Now, I probably should have kept... Now, what I find is I like to keep one of every item in a slot somewhere so that your storage controller knows that that's what goes there. You can use memory as well. So that's what the memory settings would be for here. So you come in here, slot memory settings. I'll select both. So now you can see they're grayed out. You know both of them are selected. So now this barrel will only accept chiseled stone bricks and chiseled deep slate. And we only have one in, one in here. Now I don't know if we can come over here. I'm still learning, mind you. I know my, how mostly everything works, but I don't know the specifics. So let's just try it here. Okay, yes. So if you have even zero items in a barrel that is linked to your controller, when the memory is selected, that's where it puts it. But say you have went out mining and you've got all these blocks of stuff here and all of your chests are linked, of course, to your controller. And you you don't want to sit there and go right click, grab the next stack, put it in your hands, grab the next stack, put it in your hands, right click again, etc. Right? You just come over here and you double right click and you can have anything in your hands. You can have empty hands like this. And if you right click twice quickly on the storage controller, look, my whole inventory just emptied out. And whatever's in my inventory that will fit in a chest in this room that is linked to this, everything, any random block, anything out of any of these chests that is linked that matches on a double right click will automatically be emptied out of my inventory into its appropriate chests. Now, if you have somewhere in this room, a zombie chests like this that are just kind of hanging out by themselves sometimes the items that you drop into your storage controller will go into the empty chests um, I, I don't know how to show you that one because I have so much storage and all of my stuff is in here but that's sometimes what happens so if your items all of a sudden just disappear and you're like hey where'd my items go that's where they went just check all your storages. I could have showed you an example of that, but I dismantled my opposite storage room over here and moved it all down here. And I don't have that issue anymore because all of my chests and barrels have memory settings and slot settings. So that prevents random items being inserted into this chest so that nothing goes in here except for deep slate. And of course I haven't done it yet. Usually I will take one and just fill every slot like this. Even, whatever, however you do it. I did this kind of sloppy, sorry. As long as you have enough items. And you can you can cheat even if you have just one item. I'll show you that in a second. Come in here. Come in your memory. Select all the slots so that this entire chest will only hold Deep Slate. Come on. Give me those things. And as you can see, once we pull these items out of these slots, it is telling us that only Deep Slate will go here. So if we were to come over here, now that I have a whole whack full of Deep Slate in my hands, then just double right click here. Oh, 
why is it not going there? Hmm. That's kind of interesting. Let me check here. Well, it's not. It's not locked. Uh, say what again? Okay. Strange. There, let me just do this. What, you're not letting me? Why can I not unlink this thing? Oi. Oh, man. Oh, spider! <laughs> okay. Where's our... Let's start over here. Hold on. Is that spider going to come kill me? Yes, he is. Hang on a second here. Go away. Okay. Where am I at? I, I don't... Ugh. That's why it's sophisticated storage, you know. I cannot unlink this thing. That is odd. Well, we'll have to do that. And replace it. Because maybe we have to reset it. I don't know. Because I placed these after I had placed the link. So we just crouch. And place like that. I jumped and stuff and was aiming at the top of the barrel. Because I think on the side it would have stuck it to the side. But that's how you place it on an item. Is you just crouch and place. Alright. Uh. <laughs> okay. Well I don't know how this works. It won't let me unlink it. But now that we have replaced it, let's see if this now works. So we'll take our deep slate here, come back to our controller. What? Why is that not why? Oh. Such a learning experience. Okay, well, we'll do this different. So we're going to click on right click, right click on our controller with our storage tool so we get the linking thing here. We're going to link this chest and this chest. I'd... Now, as you can see, I cannot link this one. This one is joined to the controller. And these barrels as well. So that's one way, I guess, to tell. I have no idea why this doesn't... It doesn't think that this is connected. Maybe it's got to be, like, right below it. I, I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> Anyways, okay. So then that's how that would work. So you just come over here. Double right click, and it just emptied all of the deep slate out of our inventory into that chest. So yes, this is a sophisticated mod. Now, that's input side, not output. But we can do that with our storage controller. So this is another thing we can do here. And I will use my dirt farm over here as an example, or grass block farm, sorry. So we have grass blocks. Uh, I believe it's this chest, actually. Yes. So our grass blocks are here. I placed this after, so I, sorry. You can't see that there's grass blocks in there. But this is a chest of grass blocks. Now this chest is linked to this controller right here. This chest. So if I was to grab one stack of grass blocks and toss it in, it's going to show up right here. Now, there's a difference. So this um, storage controller has a hopper upgraded chest above it, which pulls stuff from the back, which is this vault. Now we have a little depot and a weighted and a brass funnel here that tape puts items in this vault. Now you could do this different. You could just use a chest behind this chest with a hopper above it and in, in, in vanilla minecraft you can use this exact same thing in vanilla minecraft you just gotta use some hoppers get a little creative with it but as you can see i have a storage controller up here now this storage controller is linked only 
to my chest of dirt. Now you can see the green line comes over here, and we have a chest full of dirt here. Now this is dirt, and it's linked to this one as well. So any items that go into this storage controller will go into this thing of dirt. But this is also linked to this storage controller over here. And as you can see, I have a brass funnel on the side. Now, if you were in vanilla Minecraft, put a hopper underneath this thing, and all of a sudden, dirt's going to start coming into that hopper because this storage controller is linked to that chest. And if we're pulling, we can push or pull items into a storage controller. As you can see here, we have 45.8 thousand dirt, which you saw in that chest over there. So we know that there's that's all that's on here is just for that. And this is for farm use is how I use it. So we have a lock here with a redstone link just to lock this. You can have a, a, a switch beside your hopper. So if you had a hopper here, put a switch here, lock the hopper, nothing will happen. Unlock the hopper, it's going to start dumping out dirt. Same with this process here. And then it just comes over here, makes us grass blocks. This weighted ejector throws it over here, throws it over onto this one, throws it onto this depot, and then this brass funnel sucks it up and the, the grass block goes into here. <laughs> I can't show you because I have my thing off here because you can hear it running when it's turning. Everything turns in here. But, uh, oh, that's a different one. So then if our grass blocks end up on here, get sucked into here. You saw grass blocks in here for a second as display. That's so I know what it's transferring. And they're back in here. So that's all that happens is those grass blocks get tossed way over here onto this depot into here. So if you had just a regular Minecraft hopper and chest behind this one or even just on top of this one or even a Minecraft hopper on top of here, any items put into here go into the chest. So that's how that works. So as you want to see that again quickly here and the rate of transfer is different between a hopper upgrade and advanced hopper upgrade. I believe advanced hopper upgrade is faster. So... I'm going to try and do this quickly. Actually, here, let's let's use a whole bunch so that we have t enough time to uh, hang on, let's do it this way. One. So that I can show you before they get gobbled up. So, four stacks. So, one, two, three, four. Okay. Now, as you can see, it is transferring transfers four at a time I believe it is and it's already done <laughs> so all our grass blocks are now back in here we still have one left here we didn't use and you can just you can put it in here you can throw it here you can right click on the controller there's a bunch of different ways you can automatically put items into here yep I, you can't just throw something on top of it though like if you were to take these grass blocks and just go like this that's not going to do nothing they just went into here I have grass blocks in here <laughs> they just went into the backpack so that's you can't do it that way you have to like right click pointing at it with it holding in your hands is how you do that and taking items out you can't you have to take them out with like a hopper with a filter or something like if you threw a hopper underneath this just a regular one it's going to start emptying i don't even know maybe alphabetical order down i don't know how it works or furthest to nearest i'm not sure but it would empty every single chest in here into that hopper if you didn't have a filter on it so some more upgrades now we have here i never talked too much about the upgrade sheets and upgrades and stuff like that like these things here but there are well I talked about the hopper one obviously but there are some other ones here you can see here's a compression uh, upgrade and then pickup upgrades I don't know how these work in the chest things like I think the pickup upgrade would be I, I don't have one anywhere it would be just like the magnet upgrades. I can show you in the backpacks how they work to explain it. And it's exactly the same, I bet you, in the storage. I don't want to use them because it's just a waste of my resources. 
I'm in survival here, so yes. So basically, with this, this is almost identical. Same thing, giant diamond by a backpack, which is just a portable backpack instead of it. It's like a chest on your back. <laughs> it's basically what it is, sophisticated storage chest on your back. Now you can see here I have magnet upgrade and pickup upgrade. Well, here's the pickup upgrade. Let's turn it on. Now we have to watch because we're going to walk over here and we're going to go beside my iron farm. My iron farm is in here running. We're going to ignore that spider. But if there's any items on the ground, actually, we'll, let's use that spider as an example. Hold on here. So within a certain distance, where's that spider? Come back here. on the roof yep come here man there we go okay oh no I did I do oh I hit the wrong button on my thing sorry that's we're gonna wait 10 swings sorry I have a button on my mouse that does the um, XP farm swing <laughs> for AFK and I can't cancel it. I don't know how to do that. <sighs> okay. So basically, what would happen here is, hopefully it doesn't do anything wrong to us here. It'll cancel sorry, in a second here. Um, where is it here? Come on, click. I can't use my left mouse button until it's done. So we have advanced pickup settings. As you can see, we have a, I'm not going to hover my mouse over there. We have a blaze cake base in here. And this thing allows blaze cake bases to be picked up by this backpack. And that's it. I believe. I don't think it allows anything else. But we have also a magnet upgrade here. Now, what our magnet upgrade does is it pulls in, uh, let's see here. So we'll start with the pickup upgrade first. Makes storage pick up items. So if we threw a stack of deep slate on the ground beside a chest that had this in it, it would suck up that stack beside it within so many tiles, right? The advanced pickup has more options, as you saw in here. Advanced pickup has allow and all this and a filter slots. The regular pickup one, I don't think I have a regular pickup uh, upgrade. I might actually let me check this one because it is exactly the same now here's a regular pickup up upgrade which just has a few little options here so we can allow things block things or match backpack contents and that's what I actually have it on is match contents so if it picks up any of this items hanging around me like if we had some packed ice here sorry and we threw this packed ice on the ground. This chest or backpack would pick up that packed ice. And as long as you had uh, uh, contents, so anything in here, it would match. So if we had 225 wheat seeds and or I guess not 225, sorry. If we had 161 wheat seeds, and we picked up an extra stack, like this, you have to be fairly close. Now you can see we have 225. So this backpack has picked up those things. So that's kind of how the pickup upgrade works. And that works the same for storage as it does for a backpack, I believe. Oops, I kind of forgot about that one. I'm supposed to have my backpack on. <laughs> so that would be the pickup upgrade. Magnet just picks stuff up from a farther distance, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, yeah, it says right here. Magnets items into storage at range. And then magnets items into storage at a greater range. Has more filtering options as well. So it's just a magnet upgrade and advanced is a better one. And same with all of them feeding advanced feeding if you just read them all 
and tells you what they all do. I'm not going to go through each one. Like I can show you here. Here's the jukebox upgrade in my backpack, which would be exactly the same, I think, in the storage. That's how that works. Play some music. Crafting upgrade. I have a tank upgrade, which is also in storage here. There's a, a pump. I think there's tank upgrade. Where is that tank upgrade? Um, it's got to be here somewhere. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Come here. I've been petting him constantly. That's kind of why I've been a little distracted here. <laughs> he still wants something. Come here. Where is our tank upgrade? I probably have it uh, over it. Oh, that's why. That's better. here somewhere come on I seriously have to do this there it is unless it's locked in here it, it might be because well here's a tank upgrade anyways for backpack. I don't know why I don't have one in the storage. It could be because I have the conflict of interest with the create mod, maybe. I, I don't know. I don't know all of everything about all these mod, uh, upgrades and stuff, but a tank upgrade would be just like you saw in my backpack here. I have a tank of lava hanging out right here, and it just has an input and output which is a lava bucket. So if you had a lava bucket and you want to add it to your tank, you just click on there. Get an empty bucket back. You want a full bucket of lava to take out, just click on it. And you could do different things with this as well. You could use a depot to fill it. And a spout in the create mod. Um, there's other, yeah, deck. I guess I can show you that quickly here. Let's just go over here. If we took... Come on, give me that lava bucket, thank you. If we took that lava bucket and that, our backpack here, took that lava bucket off. If we put this, I guess I just can throw it on there. So if we throw that on there, you just saw it dump some lava in there. Now, if we were to actually come over here, turn on our farm. Oh, I got to go inside here and actually get the lava pumping here. We did actually turn this boiler on. You would see this thing filling right up. Bucket by bucket. And it would fill up our backpack. Right full. As you can see, there's a whole bunch more now in here. I have 96 buckets of lava in this tank. And you can see it... Um, on the side. You can see the little tank thing there. You can see my jetpack and my backpack overlap. <laughs> Hang on here, there. There we go. There's the backpack. And it has display settings. All that stuff. You can see my head hanging out there. I have uh, <laughs> got a bunch of my heads of the head mod installed. <laughs> so I have a whole bunch of these from when I died. So I've died 51 times. <laughs> and then also, as you can see here, uh, 14 more times. So I've died a few times. Quite a few. <laughs> you should go back and pick my head up. And anyway, that's what, uh, that's how that works, the tank thing, anyways. Uh, what else can I tell you about sophisticated storage here? Um, I think I went over almost everything. We went over our storage tool. We went over the storage link a little bit. We went over the controller as well. We went over these barrels here. 
So I really do like the copper barrels because you do get a lot of copper in Minecraft. Even in vanilla Minecraft, you can acquire quite a bit of copper very early game. So that's kind of nice. So then the, the copper barrels do increase their stack size quite a bit. It's actually really pretty interesting here. So I, I do like this mod. This is a very nice mod. I use it all over the place in here, as you can see. All my items are stored. Logs and planks in each chest, you know, and it's all connected up to my controller. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, that's hopefully everything about sophisticated storage that I can tell you guys. Let's just make sure I didn't forget anything. important um anything else about upgrade slots i think that's it and, and a lot of them are self-explanatory as long as you guys have this jei and stuff in here if you have don't have this ouch oh you're gonna have to do a lot of googling and wiki and stuff maybe i don't know because it doesn't jei tells you everything and so it's it's pretty pretty good so then, like, of course, the, where is it, the compacting, the compacting upgrade uh, says here compacts items into their compressed variants, 2x2 two two and 3x3 three three recipes. The regular one, just the compacting upgrade, is 2x2, two two, and the advanced is 2x2 two two and 3x3 three three recipes. And what it'll do is it'll squish your items down, and I, I can explain that here, I'll show you. So what that does is, let me just get over to my iron farm here. This is where I use it. So in here we have, way over here, we have a little barrel down here. Now I could, I, I don't even actually need all of this. I could just do it in the barrel straight out of the iron farm, but I don't. I, I like using the mechanical press. It's kind of cool. But this one has the advanced compacting upgrade. So what this will do is it's going to accept iron ingots and turn them into blocks of iron. And as you can see, there's 53 here. So what we would do is let's just go over here for a second. And we'll grab some, some stacks here of iron nuggets from our iron farm here. I usually packing tape. Oh, that's what I got to explain. Yeah, it's packing tape. Yes. Okay, I'll explain that right now. So, let's just grab... We'll empty this. Now, with this mod that I have, the car Carry On mod, I believe it's called, allows you to pick up stuff like this. So, this is kind of how... The reason that you have packing tape, maybe? Well, it's not just the reason. Say you have a chest here, right? We have this chest full of items. We cannot just break the chest and take the items with, right? You all know that. As soon as you break a chest, everything pops out. Now, with the carry-on mod, you saw me pick that barrel up and move it. But if we have a chest full of items past a certain amount of items in here, we cannot pick it up. As you can see... Look at this warning here. Cannot break the iron chest. You cannot pick it up, basically. As it would have 352, too many items, and they would drop. So that's probably too much data in your player or something, reason, I don't know. Or if it's a setting, but whatever. So all we got to do is we need a couple of items here. We need, um, we need one piece of paper. And we need... Hang on, let me find it. One slime ball. So you have to have found some slimes or something along the line or have a slime farm. But we need some slime balls and a piece of paper. And if we take this slime ball and piece of paper and put it in a crafting recipe here, a crafting grid, shapeless, doesn't matter where you put it, you're going to get some packing tape. Now we take this packing tape, and what this does is allows us to transport this chest around full. So take the packing tape. Um, hang on. Turn my iron farm off, of course, just so we don't dump iron nuggets on the ground. And if we right-click on it, you can see, all of a sudden, we get some packing tape around this chest. Now we can take our axe, break this chest, pick it up. Now we have... Oh. 
it went into my backpack, didn't it? Or did it go in this one? Oh, that's not the right one. <laughs> Where did it go? Oh my gosh. It's, oh, here it is. Here. Yeah, I went into this backpack. Sorry. That's because I have my pickup upgrade on, so it automatically picked up items. And if it has an empty slot, it'll pick up anything, I think. Unless it picked it up because of this iron chest right here. I don't know if it differentiates between <laughs> spruce, uh, a packed chest or not. Spruce iron chest. Uh, whatever anyways so yeah <laughs> so all we do we now have this bruce iron chest here with 6934 iron nuggets in it and then you just come over here and we can move this chest now and that's what packing tape does and then this is how i use my iron farm put this down here this is set to oops nine yeah i did i you grab things randomly this is set to nine iron nuggets so that it packs it into uh, iron ingots. And then we have 32 iron ingots, which as you can watch here in a second, we have, we're gonna wait for 12 more here. If we come into this barrel and watch, here's our compacting upgrade gonna work. You'll see there's only seven in here. And of course, seven does not make a block of iron. We have 57 blocks of iron and it automatically compacted it. All of a sudden we now have 61. And we have three in here, so anytime I throw iron ingots into here, might as well put these in here, it will automatically compact them. And I think, actually, let's, that's what I was going to do. Since this is a three barrel, I have room for one more item, so maybe if we put iron nuggets in here, does it compact them? Yes, it did. Yep. Because I threw a whole stack... Let's open the UI and do it that way. So, take our iron nuggets, put them in there. Oh, maybe they have to be shift clicked in. Okay, let's try that. Oh, maybe. Hmm. Okay. And if we right click them in. Okay, they have to be actually added to it for this to work. And there are settings for the compaction as well. Only work with other upgrades. Oh, allow match. Oh, maybe that's could have been the reason. Maybe I don't know. But I have iron nuggets and iron ingots in the advanced compression thing, so it's going to squish them all down. Is what it does. As you saw it squish those 65 down into two left and then they turned into iron ingots which turned into iron blocks so that's how the compacting upgrade works so upgrades can even modify stuff inside that which is pretty cool so that's pretty neat so i just come over here whenever i want and i could have this actually chest underneath connected to a storage controller that's filtering iron nuggets somehow even is what I could have, and then these would automatically get added to my storage. I couldn't add it to the storage from this far away because it's about a 16, I think it's 16 blocks, one chunk radius, I believe. But then now, yeah, now that that's working away, I just walk away, let it do its thing, and I would just switch this for a different barrel or a chest, whatever, turn iron farm back on. Now we have an empty barrel here. That's going to start filling up with our nuggets again. We have two. And away it goes. And once it gets close to the full again, I, I don't have a, anything. So if it, it will overfill if you don't pay attention to it. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing that shuts. My iron farm runs constantly. That's why I have a bunch of upgrades, stack upgrades in this barrel and in this chest as well. So that it fills up a whole bunch. And then we get a lot of iron at a time. So yeah, I, yeah, it's pretty automatic. It's, it works pretty good. Uh, what? What? How did that? Huh? 
That's a little strange. My elevator's not working. That's odd. Why is... I'm not, I'm not even going to ask. Don't ask why my elevator isn't working. I have no idea. I just used it like a minute ago. <sighs> okay, we'll come into my other storage room and maybe just look around in here just in case I forgot something. I don't think so. Oh, shulker boxes. Yes. So, shulker boxes can also be added to the sophisticated storage. So you can take a regular shulker box and you can make it into, as you see here, gold shulker box. It's gold. I have it named because this is actually what I carry my rails in from my rail making machine here for my trains. But as you can see, three upgrades, just like a gold chest. We have a stack upgrade in here as well. And this is a shulker box. So we've got big shulker box. <laughs> and I have... Uh, I had a couple more somewhere as well, but maybe down here. Do we have shulker boxes in here? No. But as you can see, and also to craft these uh, limited barrels, there uh, you take a. I never showed you how to craft barrels, but okay. So here. This was actually pretty confusing for me to figure out because I couldn't actually figure out how to craft these limited barrels and stuff. It took me a long time. The limited spruce barrel one with one slot, right? Or two or three or four, whichever it may be. But there are different uh, crafting recipes for all of these things and a lot of redstone torches are going to get used. Because it takes a lot of redstone torches. But you take just a, a plain... Uh, let's see here. Okay, so the very first one, the limited barrel one. Is one slot, 32 times base stack size multiplier. And in order to craft that, we need... See, this is where I got confused on how to how you craft them because there's not actually a crafting recipe for it. Hang on. This is the this is the difficult part here. there barrels barrels barrel oh my gosh crafting some of these barrels is a little difficult okay so we have a plain minecraft barrel here six planks two wooden slabs and we get a plain minecraft barrel now if we want a sophisticated storage barrel I think you have to craft it with, let's just do it here, hold on here. Do we have an actual barrel in here? Trap chests? No, let's check my thing here. It took me forever to figure this out. Well, let's just craft up a few here. I gotta grab some wood here. Um. say it was six and then we need some slabs which is three isn't it yep <laughs> my iron farm just a banging away and some slabs we'll take two slabs crafting table and six planks and we'll craft a minecraft barrel so now we'll take this minecraft barrel and put it back in our crafting grid grab a redstone torch go back to our crafting table with a redstone torch yes that's how it works and then we have 
a sophisticated storage barrel. So we take a regular Minecraft barrel with a redstone torch, makes us a sophisticated storage barrel. Then, um, this is so complicated. <laughs> sophisticated, sorry. So we would take I figured the crafting recipe out differently. I, I actually just spammed. Spam build stuff. Okay, so what we do, we'll take a few of these. Uh, take half of them, I guess. So we just come into a crafting table. This is going to be difficult to explain. I think it's four in the corners with planks like that. Is that one of the recipes? No. This is how I figured it out. It took me a while. Let me just look on the side here. Do we have any of these for this recipe? Okay, yeah, here. Also, it does take a redstone torch. Okay, yes. So three, six, and two. There are other variants. It's, it's difficult to get the to find it. Where's the base ones here? It took me forever to figure out. Because I'm like, well, this makes no sense. Because this is a limited barrel, too. You know what I mean? Like, crafting was hard to figure out. Yes. Very tough. I eventually figured it out by getting in recipe <laughs> like this finally and then I'm like oh okay this is two so we actually have to grab our crafting recipe again here so this is how we would do it so two slabs six oops of those and some redstone torches in the middle and then of course there's our limited spruce barrel two that's just a regular plain one and let's just craft one for the heck of it now, if we wanted to upgrade this, take our barrel and put it in the center. Oh, flat top. I don't know what that's all about. Okay. Oh, it's got raised ridges here, and this one's flat. Oh, okay. Didn't even know that. I just learned something new. Okay. So we're going to take our limited spruce barrel and say we want to turn it into a copper barrel. Or you could do gold, I think. Or you could do iron. And we would just surround it with eight copper ingots gets us a limited spruce copper barrel two or gold no no okay no that's not how that works I guess we would have to go copper to iron first so then we get the limited spruce iron barrel so from copper to iron or, oh no, that wasn't copper down. Okay, well, 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 I just skipped a step. <laughs> but you can do it that way as well, I guess. You have to, to, that's what the upgrades kind of, that's how some of them work. It's not all in a crafting recipe. Some are, some aren't. This is very difficult to explain. <laughs> okay. So then if we had our spruce barrel, is that how gold works now? Take iron, yes. You have to go to iron with a limited spruce iron barrel too. And then that's how we get gold now is by surrounding it in gold. I'm not going to use my gold on it. I can use iron because I have a lot. But that's how that works. Then uh, barrel three, I believe, is like this. three slabs and five planks and a redstone torch now okay let's try this no 
Oh, there is a way. It, it's the crafting recipe is here. Finding this crafting recipe is next to impossible. I, I apologize, but it is. Because it doesn't show me here. But I can... Hang on. Let's put this over here. Does that show me now? No. That it, it's not in here, but it's supposed to be. But you can see I somehow got this one in here. Finally. It took me forever to figure out how to get this recipe in here. But we got limited spruce barrel too. Let's try just... Yeah. It, it must be some conflict of interest here in this. But to, to show me the actual recipes. But that's our recipe anyway for two. It's this. Figuring out three and four, I can't remember now because I just mass crafted a whole bunch when I did it. Um, as you can see, like this, I mass crafted a ton because I, yeah, it took me forever. Once I got the recipe, I'm like, yay! And I crafted a whole bunch. So let's just put some of our items away. This is my like storage chest. And as you can see, I do have some upgrades here that I made as well, a whole bunch for upgrading my copper items or chests since I started with copper because copper is kind of earlier game to get, get and use so yes we have some other stuff in here but that's not these are different mods as well so there could be some conflict of interest between some of these maybe that's why my recipes don't show up and they're hard to find but some of these recipes are very difficult Last. Let's try one last thing here. Uh, oh, wait. No, we don't want copper. We want limited three is what we were trying for, correct? And we'll try limited four for the heck of it. Or actually, we could just go like this. So limited spruce barrel three. If you press R when you're hovering over something, it should show you the recipe. There's the recipe. Slab, slab, and three slabs, and five planks, and a redstone torch for the limited barrel three that's finally how i figured it out <sighs> how i got it over here i mean sorry and this is my favorite recipes over here that i use so then limited barrel four is four slabs in the corner four planks in a cross and a redstone torch in the middle will get you a limited spruce barrel four so that's how you get the one two three and four and then Limited spruce barrel. Limited barrel one is, of course, just one slab top center, and then seven planks and a redstone torch. So hopefully that's some explanation on how to craft these barrels, because I had a lot of difficulty crafting these barrels. <laughs> a lot. Took me a long time to figure all this out. So, anyways, I hope that's uh, I hope that's everything that's you guys needed. If you have any questions, comments, just let me know. If I got something wrong, tell me. Because I don't know everything about this mod yet. Aw, I guess it's raining and you can't go to sleep. So I think that's it. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. I do believe that is it. Yeah, I just was thinking there. I think that's all about all of our storages, so... And as you can see, yeah, any of the, anything you need to know about your upgrade tabs, but they will tell you in here. And your upgrades like this as well. Base upgrade, your copper upgrade here. No, wood, copper and color. And I think that's it. The only thing I can't tell you about is like experience pumps and pump upgrades, because I...
somehow don't have that option to craft it. So maybe it's cancelled out because of the create mod and our ability to use pipes and spouts and tanks and all that kind of stuff to transport fluids. So that's maybe why it's like that. So hopefully that's uh, good enough for you guys. Yep, I know it's been an extremely long video, but this is actually a pretty sophisticated mod. <laughs> so yes, thanks everybody for watching. Have a great day. Oh, and yes, by the way, I don't even know. Uh, I, this came in a mod pack with the Create mod. So I never uh, actually had this sophisticated storage just by itself in a mod. So I got it from Curse Forge, the mod pack. And actually, I will show you that. Just hold on a second here. Sorry, hang on. Just let me open this. One second. And as you can see here. Hang on, I gotta open it. There it is. So this is Curse Curse Forge on my computer here app. It may take a second because I'm recording. Here is our mod pack. And it's Create Plus by Storm Dragon64. And this has all the mods that I am using currently. And down here, when you get sophisticated storage, we're just going to find S here. There are some requirements. So you need the sophisticated core, which is the basics of both of them. The sophisticated storage, which is chests and so on, and sophisticated backpacks, which is the backpack. And then you get the individual mods here. And thereby... Uh, I, I don't even know. Pepperfly, I, I guess is how you pronounce this gentleman's name here. I believe it's a gentleman. And, yeah. There's our three mods. So, Sophisticated Storage, you can see it's right here. Sophisticated Storage is a mod that adds multiple tiers of barrels, chests, and shulker boxes. And many different combinations of colors applied to them as well. Oh, that's one thing I didn't say as well. You can dye them, I believe, as well. And different wood varieties, etc. And there's a lot of stuff that tells you you can do configurations and all that in here. So we will just go back in here. Just hang on. Um. Do I have any dye on me? No, I don't. Uh, yeah, so that's... Uh, oh, right, in here. So we just go into our escape menu here, our game menu, pause our game, and... Not that one. You would have to come into your mods, go all the way down, and find sophisticated storage. Now I'm just going to show you quickly some options you have to change here. So, sophisticated core is the first one, and that's the base mod of sophisticated mods. So, you have to have it in order to have storage and backpacks, I believe. And, of course, you have client-side mods, and if you're on a server, you're going to have server-side mods as well, or modified, like, options. And they only have a couple things for the sophisticated core, which is the play button and sort positions button. Sort buttons position can change as well. I'm not going to get into all of that, but that's how... Sorry, I accidentally got out the wrong way. There are some changes there, but if we actually click on Sophisticated Storage, there is in the mod page here, we can configure it. Now, client-side is everything we can do. If we have our on a server, then there are server-side only modifications, and you can change a lot of stuff here. So we just click on client, and this would be for us as players, and you could show higher tier tinted variants. And it says, determines whether JEI and creative tab will show tinted storage items for iron and higher tiers. Can help with easily removing many of these items from there. So if you don't want certain items to show up in your recipes on the side, that's all we're allowed to really change. But server side, if you're playing single player by yourself, there are a lot of options in here. And you can change 
all your auto blasting, smelting, smoking, pickup magnet upgrades. You can change a whole bunch of stuff for all these compacting, compression, the copper barrel you can change, the chests you can change, deposit upgrades, you know, all that stuff. Diamond chests, feeding upgrade, filter upgrade, you know, gold shulker boxes. You can change stuff about them, the iron ones, all of these things. You have so many options here. And this is server side, by the way, so... And then it says max limit of limit of maximum number of upgrades or types per storage in format of yeah so max upgrades per storage you can change that stuff as well how do we have those storage slots in there so the the max amount of upgrades per storage so the max jukebox per storage right stack upgrades per storage. Yeah, so it's, it's yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff. I don't know. I don't touch any of this stuff. But there are options for all this kind of stuff. Like in chests, number of inventory slots in a diamond chest, 1 to 180. It's currently at 108 slots. So 108 stacks in a diamond chest. And number of upgrade slots in there, diamond has four. So you can change all of that and modify it if you're playing on single player to your own likings. If you think, holy man, this is way too much items in these chests, you know what I mean? Then you can modify that. You could come in here and change. Uh, now I'm lost. You could change this to a different amount. You can change this probably to a different amount. Same with iron. Where's an iron chest here? Change this to a different amount as well, or this to a different amount. So there's a lot of modifications you can do to this mod, which is awesome. So now I hopefully that's everything. Hopefully I explained it all to you real well. Um, chests will not show uh, numbers or I don't think fill levels. Let me just double check that one. I don't think chests show that. Grab a storage tool here. Which just got ate by my backpack again. Whoops. So we'll grab a storage tool here. And we will select showing hiding fill levels. And we'll just try it on a chest here. Okay, yeah, no. It does not work. Works on uh, barrels only, so we'll, we want to show how many of all this is in here. We can, just like that. So okay, yeah, so it doesn't work on chests. You can't see the fill level. You have to actually come up to it and open it. Yep. All right. Now I think we're done. As I already exited my, did my exit say so already once. Let's do it again. <laughs> All right, everybody. <laughs> I really hope that's everything for sophisticated storage. There are a lot of things you can do with this mod. So like I say, just if you have any questions or anything, just throw it down and I'll do my best to answer. And if I need to make another video on some spe on more specific stuff, let me know. And I will do that. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.